the original spirit of Gala, and I think this is woven into everything that we do, is this concept of, of decentralization. What happens when you turn it over to the people? That was really the question I think that we were asking ourselves very early on. Why can't you do this? Why shouldn't somebody be able to own their own stuff? And what happens if we do empower people to own their own content? What does that picture look like? You know, we make stuff that has value inside of our games. They're toys you can play with. But how does that change the picture for somebody? Because they own it, they can take it out of our ecosystem. And what does that mean to them if they trade it for something uh, in the real world? We are just trying to do what's right by the people and connect people all over the world, especially I think in, in developing nations where I think blockchain is the most exciting. You know, one of the things that we take for granted here in the US and in other places is we have a banking system that you, you can count on. You know, you take your money, you put it in there, it's safe. Well, that's not true in many places in the world. How do you store generational wealth when you have to squirrel it away or hide it in your household? So. Just having a phone, having access to blockchain gives you essentially a bank account and a safe way to transfer currency or things of value between you and somebody else without a centralized system. I think it's a bit of a revolution. I think we at Gala were very excited seeing the trend of what happens when you turn things over to the people. I lived in the Bay Area and I couldn't get home at night when I would call a cab. No one would show up. No one, you know, if they did show up, I'd tell them I was heading to Oakland and they wouldn't take me. Uber came along and they always showed up. They were always on time and you raided them and they raided you. And it was a bit of a kind of turning over a, a taxi system to the people and see what happens. YouTube, what if everyone could make videos? Everyone could have a TV channel. And yeah, you get a lot of crap along with it too. But the truth is, is that YouTube is amazing. Like anything you ever want to learn about in this world, there's a video. I take for granted that we didn't have that kind of knowledge 20 years ago because they've turned over this system to the people is now there and it's available and everyone can compete to have the coolest and most fun videos. I think some of the original spirit of Gala was just to turn it over to the people because it's the right thing to do and better things happen when it's in the hands of the people instead of a dark, central organization telling you what you can do and what you can. It's freedom. I guess it's just about freedom. You mentioned that you have so many games in development. Are there a few games that are coming up in the near future here that we should have on our radar? Spider Tanks is going live here pretty soon. Spider Tanks is really fun. And Dimitri and those guys that are developing it are, are a great team. That one's really cool and you should probably check that one out because I think it's the next one to be, uh, to be going live. I'm going to say this year, this might be a mega leak, but you know, we are working on tavern games and I want to empower tavern owners to start hosting games and having people show up and bet a few stones at the table, if you will, and play with others, hopefully like they will in the final game. We're going to be launching Miranda's Tavern Games this year and we'll just keep extending those games and build whatever people want to do or, or want to play inside the tavern. And then when the game goes live, you'll be able to access that inside the tavern or maybe even outside of it, kind of in a and a companion app way is the idea.